is workout is a full body workout. We're going to go through six exercises. I'm going to go right through them, show you how to do it, and then you're going to do it on your own. Today, all you need is a few pair of dumbbells and a band. So we're going to start off with a goblet squat. What you're going to do is I want you to grab a little bit heavier of a weight. I want you to challenge yourself. You're going to hold the dumbbell into your chest. Arms are nice and relaxed. This is a lower body exercise. Your feet are going to be wider than shoulder width apart. Your toes are going to be pointed out. What you're going to do is you're going to do a squat. You're going to sit down. Knees are going to stay wide right over your toes. Sit back. You want to drive through your heels. You should feel it all on your glutes, hamstrings, quads. You want to keep your torso nice and upright. You don't want to be leaning forward. You want to be going down nice and straight. And make sure you're breathing out. Next up, you're taking two dumbbells. You're going to do a bicep curl to overhead press. What you're going to do is your palms are going to start facing out. You're going to do a bicep curl, elbows stay in the same spot, turning your wrist out, pressing it straight over your head. Bicep curl, wrist out, straight over your head. You want to remember through all upper body exercises, your core is always tight. You want control over the dumbbell, so pick a good weight you can control. Press it straight over your head. Next, you can hang on to the same dumbbells. You could do this without dumbbells. What we're gonna do is a backward lunge with a pulse. So what you're gonna do is start at the top of your mat. Arms are nice and relaxed. This is a lower body exercise. You're gonna take a big step back, come pulse up, one, back to center. Pulse up, back, pulse, pulse at the bottom. You want to make sure you're driving off that front leg. Pulse. Core is nice and tight. You're not leaning forward. Making sure you're breathing out. Again, you could go heavier with this or you can go with your body weight. Then next, hanging on to the same dumbbells, what you're going to do is a bent over row. We're going to do a superset here, feet are shoulder width apart, you're going to be completely bent over, arms are nice and relaxed, knees are slightly bent, core is always tight, back is straight, you're going to do a low row, elbows come into your side, you're looking at the ground, you're doing 12 bent over rows, and then without taking a break, you're going to do alternating. So both of these exercises are right back to back. And then when you're done, you can take a break. Next, you're going to grab your band. You're going to put the band right above your knee. What you're going to do is a bridge. So what you're going to do is your feet are shoulder width apart. The band is always tight and always has tension. You're going to bring your hips up, squeeze at the top, breathe out. You're going to do 25 reps and just like the last exercise, on the last rep you're going to hold your glutes up high, you're going to pulse the band out to the side. Keeping those hips up, I don't want you to start to drop, always remember to keep your hips as high as you can, okay? Then the last exercise, the band comes off. We're going right into push-ups. So we're flipping back over. I want you to start on your knees. Your hands are gonna be right over your shoulders on your knees. So with this, you wanna be more on the meaty side of your knee, so you don't wanna be directly on the bone. 
So what you're going to do is you could start like this, and I want you to push yourself forward. So that is going to be a good way to indicate if you're doing it correctly. Core is always tight, glutes are squeezed. You're going to do 10 regular push-ups, and then you're going to come out to the side, and you're going to do 10 chest press push-ups. Elbows come out. You should feel a stretch all in your chest. Same thing. You're going back to back with these exercises and then you're going to take a break, move on to the next round. All right. So remember to challenge yourself throughout the whole entire workout, increase your weight, do what you can get within the rep range and remember to record your reps and weights. So in a few weeks, few months from now, you could redo the workout and try and up your weight and up your reps. Hope you have fun.